A skimmer is a device that reads the magnetic strip off of a credit card. Illegal skimmers are devices that are placed in locations where they look to be part of the equipment as it exists. The skimmer then collects the credit card information. The skimmers had been there for weeks, secretly installed by the gang. This is how Armenian power did it. After parking large vans by the pumps to block the view of CCTVs and gas station employees, gang members installed skimmer devices on the pumps. Some skimmers are homemade, made with parts purchased at electronic stores, including circuit boards, soldering equipment, glue guns, electrical tape, and wires. The skimmers steal, copy, and store credit card data from cards used to pay for gas. This scam itself isn't new, but how the data is collected has been upgraded. The gang now uses Bluetooth technology to transmit information over radio waves instead of having to retrieve the skimmers themselves or hardwire in. As times progressed and scammers have gotten more sophisticated, they've also created Bluetooth skimmers. Before then, attackers would have to babysit the device and they would have to wait around, potentially compromising the identity. Now that we have Bluetooth-enabled skimmers, the bad guys never have to go back. When the card goes in, it automatically is transmitted to, via Bluetooth, to another storage device 100 yards away, and the bad guys can drive away with the information, leaving the skimmer behind with no problem. The stolen data is fed to a cloning device. It's a magnetic card encoder, and it puts the data onto a blank card. The magnetic strip encoders are actually very easy to find because it, magnetic strip encoding is utilized on all kinds of different things. Your access badge to your work, your driver's license. You can buy these devices directly from the manufacturer themselves. As you use your credit card to go into uh, the, your local gas station, that pump has a skimmer on it. And that's what they've planted, these skimmers, and they're ripping the identities off from the innocent victims. And then they're taking that information, they're putting it into other recoded credit cards. With the recoded cards, the criminals buy gas, but not just a tank full. The smaller trucks called bladder trucks. Bladder because of the makeshift illegal tanks inside used to carry the stolen diesel. The gang jerry-rigged trucks by hiding huge tanks or bladders inside them. The bladders can hold up to 500 gallons of fuel. A specialized siphoning pump transforms fuel from the gas tank into the bladder. The homemade bladder is a large, flexible container, either made of metal or plastic hidden in the back of vans or covered pickup trucks. The gang takes as much fuel as the pump is authorized to give to a single card, usually $75. Then they insert another clone card in the same pump. They keep doing this until the bladder tank is full. Then they drive it away to resell the stolen gas to other gas stations. They're getting it at a discount. They know it's at a discount. They know it's it's stolen. As they head down the congested California freeways, the gas-filled trucks put the gang and other drivers at risk. These trucks are extremely dangerous due to the homemade gas tanks and the amount of gasoline they're carrying. The trucks can explode at any moment. The weight of the gas can cause braking problems. The jerry-rigged pipes, pumps, and tanks often leak and their cargo makes them highly combustible, so they can ignite all at once. It's been estimated that at any given time, there are 20 to 30 of these deadly bladder trucks driving down LA freeways and side streets. 